Good evening. This just in. A comet has landed in a nearby pumpkin patch, and weird things have started to happen. expertise in the in the uh, extermination field <laughs> so we worked for four days as an exterminator for an exterminating company <laughs> merely huffing the bug spray because I was conditioned the bug spray because I worked there okay to work there okay I'm gonna go watch the meteor shower I'm not gonna die from a spider bite I'm right over here I think I found a light switch hold on one sec What is this place? Not seen it come about the truth. Not seen it come about the truth. I mean, I said, don't go eat me, dog. Under Viper News. And that at 1900 hours during the meteor shower a spacecraft carrying technologically advanced dinosaurs crash landed in the Button Gwinnett Memorial graveyard spilling hyperfuel on the graves creating an army of undead zombies what the hell is hyperfuel Try to remain calm. Those zombies are <laughs> Yeah, dude. It went over like by the, the Jimmy John's, past the big old hot dogs, kind of that way, right? And I was like, dude, whoa. And then, like, it kind of went like. <laughs> Hey Cole, you gotta look at these pumpkins here, man. They don't look right. It's weird, like. Yeah, okay, so I, I was like chilling out, right? And then there was like this big old flame. Hot dog is over by the Jimmy John's right over there. And then it was like, dude, you know? And. And now we go live. What do we do with these things? Marissa. Marissa, I gotta die, I'm gonna die in your thighs. Bernard? 
You've got to die. I don't want you to die. Hi. I'm Carl Mecklenburg, Channel 7, Thunder Viper News. And we have a breaking report. To Officer Roper on the scene. What do we do with these things? Well, Bill, there are many times in my life that I can say that and I, I am a conservationist. I, I recycle. When it comes to alien bugs, kill them all. Burn them. Burn it's so simple to do that. Just do it. Kill every single one of them and then kill them again. Good God. That's just it. Sandy Kravitz from Channel 7 Action News coming to you from the Button Gwinnett Memorial Cemetery where there have been reports of giant reptiles or lizards. These reptiles are described as being 16 feet tall, short stocky arms, and are bipedal. Lizards in the cemetery? Talk about reptile dysfunction. Sandy Kravitz with Channel 7 Action News. Thanks Sandy. And now we go live. We have a breaking report. There are creatures, bugs of some sort. Reports are saying from outer space. Well, you got something to say? I know, I know it don't make no sense. Sometimes life ain't gonna make no sense. Sometimes, sometimes all you got is a shovel. Sometimes all you got is a hammer. Sometimes all you got is just your bare hand. <laughs> Well, Bill, I could say with some certainty of confidence that I myself am a conservationist, even when it comes to your average spider. But when it comes to space alien pumpkin spiders with legs the size of Alaskan king crabs, well, all that I can think when I picture that image in my head is kill them all, kill them and burn them. Burn and kill every single one of them and then kill them again. So simple to do that, just to do it. Shed some light on what to do with these uh, space bug settlers. So these things, right, if they're alive, right, if they're alive, that means they can be killed. <laughs> yeah, man. Take it from me, world's greatest exterminator, TK. God, that's just terrifying. Uh, oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, man, so take it from me, world's greatest exterminator, TK. Coming, and we've got to go. Don't you understand, it, mate? That all of this is just stuff. That you and I, all that matters in the world. You and I, Adam. Mate. Polly don't go out there. Spotting the face.
I will not. Are you crazy? No. But I've seen people that have been. They don't turn into anything. What happens is their blood boils. Then they die. What about the spiders out there? We don't have to save the world. All we gotta do is survive. Blood boil. Then they die. Blood boil. Then they die. Things usually get over by morning. That is, if the sun ever comes up. Are you okay? Like Charlie. I need to take your temperature. You look like you're boiling. I'm fine. I'm not. Did they try to hurt anyone? Did they try? Boom, you know, like, right? Like, <laughs> big old. <laughs> Rest in peace, Charlie. You're a good spider. You're a good spider. You're a good spider. Oh, yeah, you are. You're a good little spider. Rest in peace, Charlie. Charles.
Because I was conditioned the bug to spray. Because the Button Quinette Memorial Graveyard. On the scene. Sometimes all you got is a shovel. Sometimes all you got is a hammer. All this is just stuff. Are you and I all that matters in the world? Charlie. to the dark okay go you bastards give me one up you bastard oh. no your okays are concerned Good? Good? Be as intense as you can Good. get. I will not fucking be. Don't say, you don't say fuck. I will not be eaten. So bad after all. Uh, I don't have another job. And I don't get paid to do films. And I don't pay my actors. And it's really nice that. Okay. Action. Stay there. Head back laughing. Head back. No, no. Stay. Get back to your spot. Head back laughing. You're good. You're good. Stay in that same spot. And I got family back there. And we can help you because I'm growing the hydroponic happiness. All right, now point the gun, and now say your one last... One more time, a little bit louder. We can One more time, a little bit louder. You got is a hammer. Like Charlie. Did they rest in peace, Charlie? Here. Yeah, don't react yet. So now, something bad. Go. And they ate the lead singer. Mike Pence. Oh, it's 
start. And then back. Okay, you're not start. And they canceled the concert. Let's figure out what this place is. Switch. I don't pay my actors. And it's really nice that... Okay, now do that one more. Good evening. This just in. A comet has landed in a nearby pumpkin patch, and weird things have. There. Just say that. Something nerdy. Come on, you're not sort too cool. Follow that, right? Okay. Just above the camera. It seems kind of hard, but all you have to do is. Stay. So this is going to be an HD. So again, I'm going to say action, but you start whenever. That way. What happens to the spiders? To save the world, all we got to do is survive. Okay, a little slower, a little slower. Good. And then they die. Channel 7. Thunder Viper News. Your Adventures news. of That's your right. news. Okay. And from there. You bastard. Bill, what we're seeing here is carnage. Total carnage. Okay, okay now we're well, happy, and then all of a sudden it's like intensity. Yeah, like you. You bastards. Give me one up. You. Uh, Thunder Viper News. Uh, channel 7. Oh, Thunder channel? Viper News. Yeah. Okay, go. Hercules Comet, scene one, take one. It's because it's part of the scene 75A. So, okay. Oh, I'm not saying go louder, just don't clench your teeth. Okay. Because I couldn't understand you. So, hold on. But it would be your film. And this is your film. I'm in. Action. Look, I'm not a space bug. Look, I'm not a space bug.
Are you okay? Are you okay? No. No. Your okays are concerned. Good? Good? Be as intense as you can get. I will not fucking be. Don't say, you don't say fuck. I will not be eating so bad after all. Uh, I don't have another job. And I don't get paid to do films. And I don't pay my actors. And it's really nice that. Okay. Action. Back laughing. <laughs> Head back. No, no. Stay. Get back to your spot. Head back laughing. You're good. You're good. Stay in that same spot. Creep, where we have a film in it, and the film is called Hercules, Hercules Comet. Woo! It's gonna be awesome, and uh, we're gonna get drunk and rowdy. Yes. Yay! Yay. Wow, wow. Let me make my pictures first. I was trying to get the spire there. Hello, I'm Professor Presley, I'm and this. Kate. I'm Kate. Hello, I'm Professor Presley, and I'm Kate. And what are we doing tonight? The Carson City Creep Film Festival, uh, where Katie will be starring in the film. And uh, we wrote it and directed it and produced it and filmed it and cried about it. And now we got all the employees to be part of it. Yes, and all the employees are coming. And one really neat thing is uh, sometimes I don't get enough attention. So Katie got me an attention machine. Hey! Oh. I'm not getting enough attention. Attention? What would possess her to do that? Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me. For all the new subscribers, welcome. I'm Professor Presley. Thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, we here at the Professor Presley Show have been hard at work in October. Uh, the trees are bursting with color and the air is crisp and clean and turning cold. And I have finished my cowboy script. And I'm super happy with it and we'll get that out to you. Now, if you watch the, if you see when I put my shorts up, when I put the short videos up, uh, they're usually music videos and they're kind of a tell to what I'm working on. And, you know, kind of to uh, hold you over while I, <laughs> while I get some scripts written and some stuff filmed. And, Things are going great right now. So this Saturday, if you're going to be in Carson City, Reno area, uh, go to the Brewery Art House and you, I have a film that's going to be there and the whole crew is going to be there and uh, it's going to be great. There's costume contests and all that stuff. So my, the film that we, we made is called Hercules Comet. And so, very excited for Hercules Comet. The cowboy movie is called Brazos Cowards. So, that's... It's 
probably one of my favorite things that I've written so far. At least it's fun to write. I don't know if it's any good. We'll find out. Hi. We have finished up shooting two movies. We're all done. We're all cleaned up. And we are submitting today to film festivals. It has been an amazing summer. Uh, we did over a thousand videos, uh, shorts and all. I have a ton of stuff to upload. So I'm going to take a break from shooting and editing and spending my entire life with that. And then I, once these are judged, I'll be able to put the movies up for you guys to see. And I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised on these ones. I put more work into these two movies than I think I've put into anything else in my life. So, uh, I hope you like them because, uh, I'm going to keep making them.